All right, I'm a proud resident of Kansas City and Missouri. I just live a couple miles from the hotel here. But I actually grew up across the state line in a place called Kansas. <laughs> we got to stick together. I, 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 I say this because I notice that when I go around the country and do this for groups, and I tell people I'm from Kansas, I don't get a lot of oohs and ahs. Have you noticed that? People don't seem to link up the words Kansas and exotic. <laughs> a lot of times we get jokes about it. Now, if you remember the movie Dr. No, James Bond has just been captured. Dr. No looks at him and he says, well, at present, the killer satellite is over Kansas. But if we blow up Kansas, the world may not hear about it for years. <laughs> we get a lot of jokes, but people just don't know. They haven't been there. And I found, see, years ago, many years ago when I was just starting out, I, I was playing in bars and nightclubs. And I got hired to do kind of a holiday in circuit around Kansas for a year. And I found that Kansas has stuff that's just as cool just as exotic as anywhere else, if you know where to look. For example, you go about halfway across Kansas and up north a little bit to a little town called Cocker City. You can see with your own two eyes, touch with your own two hands, the world's largest ball of string. Weighs as much as several elephants, and, and there's enough string in there to stretch all the way to San Francisco and beyond. Now, down south of there, a little bit, in La Crosse, Kansas, is the world's barbed wire museum. <laughs> Over 2,000 kinds of barbed wire. See, you just learned something. You haven't even been there. Back east of there, a little ways, in a place called Lucas, Kansas, is a sculpture of the Garden of Eden that takes up an entire acre and is made completely and totally out of cement. 2,273 bags of cement. You can't see that anywhere else. <laughs> out west on I-70 near Oakley is a little place called Prairie Dog Town, home of the giant prairie dog. You can see it from the interstate. What I love about Prairie Dog Town is the brochure. Right on the front, it says, Prairie Dog Town. See animals not in the zoo and many more. <laughs> not great copywriting. <laughs> but truth be told, my favorite place in all this roaming around was actually just across the state line in Missouri, just down near Clinton. Who's from Clinton? Anybody here from Clinton? Larry's Lawn Ornaments and Cheese Shop. <laughs> now you have to admit, it takes a rare kind of genius to find two things that go together as well <laughs> as lawn ornaments and cheese. Hey, that's a great little birdbath you picked out there. How about a nice sharp cheddar to go with it? <laughs> 